हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी एजम्शंस ऑफ द थ्योरी ऑफ सिंपल बेंडिंग लेट अस डिफाइन सम एजम्शंस ऑन व्हिच दिस सिंपल बेंडिंग थ्योरी इज डेवलप्ड सो व्हाट आर द एजम्शंस ऑफ द थ्योरी ऑफ सिंपल बेंडिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एजम्शन इज दैट देयर इज ओनली बेंडिंग मोमेंट देयर इज नो शेयर फोर्स और शेयर स्ट्रेस डेवलप्ड इन द मटेरियल ऑफ द बीम right so first of all is only bending moment is present and no shear force is there this is the first and important assumptions on which this simple bending theory is developed right secondly the material is homogeneous throughout that is density of the material is same so homogeneous material next is the properties of the material is same in all directions in x direction in y direction in z direction the properties same whatever the properties the thermal conductivity the uh, electrical conductivity the modulus of elasticity modulus of rigidity the properties are same in all directions x y z i am talking about the directions right density is same in all directions so isotropic material that is called isotropic material which has same properties in all directions fourth is after loading there will be this is a sagging bending moment so there will be deformation in the material and there will be a curvature you will get a curvature after the material will be like this so there will be some curvature in the material right there is a curvature and the uh, beam will bent into a curvature and having a center about which it is uh, bending right so we uh, there is assumption that the center of the curvature for all the parts of the beam all the parts of the beam is same center of curvature of this this beam all the parts whether this part this part ab suppose this is a this is b this is c this is d whether the curvature is in ab or in cd the all the parts of the beam have same center of the uh, curvature right so center of curvature of b remains same for all the fibers of the beam all the fibers of the beam the center of curvature remains same right next is next is the transfer section the cross sectional area of this if you cut it and see from the side you will see that this is a transfer section it may be a rectangular section or square section and this is the neutral axis so the transfer section was a plane before loading and after loading this is again a plane right this is a plane right there is no curvature in this part right after cutting this this is a plane before and after the loading right so transfer section transfer section of the beam b r plane before and after loading before of and after loading transfer sections are same right so last part it has some modulus of elasticity which has very important role in this uh, uh, this theory of simple bending modulus of elasticity and there is compression taking place on the upper fiber there is tension taking place on the lower fiber right there is increase in length of the ab there is decrease in length of the cd so in compression and tension the modulus of elasticity will remain same this is one more assumption of this theory right so modulus of elasticity e of material 
is same in tension and compression both in this case the modulus of elasticity young's modulus of elasticity remains same so these are the assumptions based on which this theory of simple bending is developed